Good morning, everyone. So I just got dropped off at the Fontana Arena. It's really cold this morning. The car was showing like 19 degrees on the way over here. It's pretty much supposed to stay cold all day, but I do think we might hit like maybe the 40s a little bit later. So I ended up having to take like three days off because of the weather. Um, really wanted to go yesterday, but the wind chill was in like the negatives and the Smokies all day and that just didn't seem worth it. That's too cold for me. Luckily, I was able to wait it out at home and I had one of my friends that I've been hiking with stay with me. So it was pretty fun. Good times. Today I'm entering the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, so that's going to be pretty exciting. For those of you who don't know, um, the Smokies is about a 77 mile long stretch of the Appalachian Trail. And when you're in the Smokies, you have to have a permit and you can only stay at shelters. I really love the Smokies. I think they are just absolutely beautiful. At the same time, um, I'll be happy to get them over with just because there's so many rules and can't really get on and off and all that. So like I kind of said earlier, right now I'm hiking the section between um, the Fontana Marina and the Fontana Dam. After I cross over the dam, it's just going to be straight uphill for a while. So I'm hoping to be done with the Smokies in about six days. I have six days worth of food. It's very heavy. When I started the trail, my backpack was weighing about 26 and a half pounds, and this morning I was at 29 pounds. So definitely the heaviest it's been this year. I also made a pretty big other change, um, which I'm probably gonna talk about a little bit more later, but um, yeah, that added weight to my bag as well. So I'm gonna get to hiking. the Fontana Hilton. Probably not going to do a tour this morning because I'm sure there's lots of people there. It is just beautiful this morning. Cold, but beautiful. Maine, as if this little tiny detour is going to affect me going to Maine. All right, time to walk straight uphill for the next three or four miles. Ooh. All right, Whew. time to stop and take a little break. There's Shuck Stack in the distance. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna go up to Shuck Stack or not today, um, because, well, for one, it's uphill. It's really cold. I know it's gonna be really windy up there. And then also, I've been up there a million times, um, and I don't like climbing it because it's pretty sketchy. Alright, about to do the final climb up to Shuckstack. I don't think I'm going to go up there today. I've been there a million times, um, and like I said earlier, I don't like climbing it. I'm not really scared of heights, but 
not a fan of uh, that fire tower. All right, just finished climbing uh, Shuckstock Mountain. Whew, what a climb. I'm tired. So now I think I have like um, less than half a mile of downhill and I'm gonna stop, eat some lunch. Pretty hungry today. And I'm hoping I can find somewhere in the sun because it's starting to warm up, but it's still really cold. The gear that I switched out that I wanted to tell you guys about is actually my tent. If any of y'all remember, um, last year I used the Dick Agnes Fly Creek UL2, or sorry, not the Fly Creek, the Tiger Wall. So doors on each side of the tent. And it has the Mountain Glow version, so it has some really cute fairy lights in it. When I weigh the pros and cons of that tent versus the Z-Pax tent, um, in my mind, they pretty much come out equal. I think that the Big Agnes tent is better in heavy rains and um, obviously because it's double wall, less condensation problems. And I'm using a down sleeping quilt um, that is not water treated. So keeping that dry is really important. And I'm sure some of you, some of you saw, but I actually had rain get in my tent a few days ago. So I'm thinking the Big Agnes tent is gonna keep things a little bit drier. Um, obviously it's a lot heavier, so that tent is like two and a half pounds, whereas the Z-Pax tent is 14 ounces, so big difference there. The Z-Pax tent is also easier to set up and doesn't hold water weight when it rains, so the Big Agnes tent, it holds a lot of water. I don't really have like a favorite tent. Um, I just, when I was off on those zeros, I set up the Big Agnes tent in the yard and I'm just kind of missing the space and that tent just feels kind of like homey to me. I think it's because I spent so much time in it last year. Um, but yeah, so for now, gonna use the Big Agnes tent. Um, honestly, could definitely see myself switching back to the Z-Pack tent in the future. The Big Agnes tent definitely makes my bag heavier, but uh, it's not like a noticeable difference. I was talking to my friend and I think I carry more weight with me in applesauce than I do like the difference between the tents, so. No biggie. Just stopped and had a peanut butter and jelly tortilla for lunch and some beef jerky and now I'm going to keep on moving. When I first started moving after lunch, my hands were frozen. They hurt so bad, even with my gloves on. But now that I've been hiking uphill again, warming up pretty good. Just made it to the top of Doe Knob. I have like three miles to um, Molly's Red Shelter. And then maybe like six, six and a half to Russell Field Shelter. I think I'm gonna stop at Molly's Ridge. Um, I'm trying to keep my mileage between like 12 and 14 right now. And I think Molly's Ridge will put me just a little bit over 13 miles for the day. I may end up going further though. Um, I just need to get there, see how I feel, probably eat some more food. It's only like, I don't know, right now it's like 12.30, so probably be there around um, 2.30 or 3, which really isn't a bad time to stop, honestly, so yeah, we'll see. Probably gonna be Molly's Ridge tonight. Right, have like a mile left into the shelter. Probably gonna stay there tonight. It's it's cold. This is a lot of elevation gain. Not like super tired, um, but I am really excited to get in my tent and my quilt and get warm. I see the shelter. Woo! I did it. All right, I've made the decision to continue on. It's only 2.30, um, the next shelter is only three miles away. That's where my friend is going, so it'll be worth it. I'm also not feeling super tired and kind of scared that if I like stop moving now, I'm gonna get cold, so yeah, we're gonna keep moving.
glad I made the decision to move on. Um, the terrain's been good. I feel like it's finally warming up out here. And I'm just really excited to be in the Smokies. It's, the Smokies are awesome. I only have like one and a half miles now to the next shelter and it, it doesn't look hard at all. Like there's a little bit of elevation loss and then gradual gain. Alright y'all, so getting close to the shelter, only like 0.2 miles away at this point, um, I'm getting tired. It's been like a 16 and a half mile day and getting to over 5,000 feet in elevation, so pretty big one. Anyway, it's probably going to end this video here because I'm going to get to the shelter, eat, and go to bed. <laughs>